And that's what I'm saying. Now, the pressure Johnny and his people, mm -hmm. the pressure they can give you, you don't get green hair, you go get. So your best bet is not mm -hmm. to have hair. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows, and surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Juma Mubarak to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. Welcome to Johnny's Bites Friday. The GJA goes to the polls today. I expect you to vote if you're a journalist and you are on the electoral roll with your, with your head and not as suggestions have been made from the pockets or from whatever influence people may have given you. Vote for the right person and get the GJA to get back its respect that it deserves. But this morning, I've come to talk to you about a subject matter which would raise some bit of concerns in certain quarters because people may not like it. Of course, I like to talk about things that people don't like to talk about or things that people want to talk about, but they cannot talk about it for whatever reason, some fear, intimidation, some fear that they could be, you know, become subject of uh, abuse, attacks on social media, whatever it is. But if you know that you are speaking the truth and you know that the truth is the truth and the truth will set you free, you speak it no matter whose acts is God. This morning, I say cancel the Council of State. This morning, I say cancel the Council of State. You know, our 1992 constitution, the 1992 constitution, and Oliver, open that, those uh, screenshots from the 1992 constitution for me. It makes provision for a Council of State. The 1992 constitution makes provision for a Council of State. That's what it does. Now, it says, there shall be, Article 89, there shall be a council of state to counsel, that's to advise the president in the performance of his uh, functions. The council of state shall consist of, A, the following persons appointed by the president in consultation with parliament. One person who has previously held the office of chief, of chief justice. Now, a chief justice, I told you the other time, retires on their salary. So if the chief justice is getting 100000 today as salary, they will be paid 100000 while they are on retirement. And aside that, they'll be getting monthly allowances as members of the Council of State. And when they finish, they get ex gratia as well. Same for one person who has previously held the office of Chief of Defense Staff of the Armed Forces of Ghana. One person who has previously held the office of Inspector General of Police. The President of the National House of Chiefs. One representative from each region of Ghana elected in accordance with regulations made by Electoral Commission under Article 51 of this Constitution by an Electoral College comprising two representatives. Yada, 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 yada. Eleven other members appointed by the President. Three, the Council of State shall elect a chairman from among its members. Four, a member of the Council of State shall at the first meeting of the Council which he attends take and subscribe to an oath of secrecy and the oath of a member of the Council of State set out in the second schedule of this Constitution. A member of the Council of State shall hold office until the end of the term of the President of unless the member resigns by writing signed by him the address uh, to the president or becomes permanently incapacitated or is removed from office or he dies. Now, other functions of the Council of State. The Council of State shall consider and advise the president on any other authority in respect of any appointment which is required by this constitution or any other law to be made in accordance with the advice of and in consultation with the Council of State. So you see, the constitutional boards... The boards, I stood here and spoke about the, the University of Media, uh, uh, media art, uh, um, uh, Arts and Communication. The constitutional boards, all the delays in the boards. The president is supposed to appoint those boards in a cons consultation of the Council of State. So this morning I'm saying cancel the Council of State, and I'll tell you why in a bit. Now, the advice referred to in clause 1 of this article shall be given not less than 30 days after the receipt of the request from the president or any other authority. So, is it that the president delays in sending the request to the Council of State to advise him or the Council of State delays in taking that decision to advise the president? We'll get to that shortly. But the Council of State shall perform such other functions or may be assigned to it by this constitution or any other law consistent with the constitution. Meetings of the Council of State. The Council of State shall meet for the dispatch of business at least four times in a year. So they meet at least four times in a year. 
at least four times in a year. At such time and place, the chairman may determine. The Council of State shall also meet, if requested by the president, to parliament. Not less than five members of the Council of State shall call for a meeting, of course. And, and the Council of State shall hold these meetings in camera, but may admit uh, the public to any meetings whenever it's considered appropriate. The chairman of the Council of State shall preside at every meeting of the council, and in his absence, a member shall preside. So that is our Council of State. Now, you know that in a traditional setting, in Ghana, for example, we have Council of Elders. Political parties, NDC, MPP, CPP, PPP, uh, all of them, they have their Council of Elders. In our particular situation as a country, as, as traditional as, and, and cultural as we are, we also have Council of Elders. So, Gamancha Boni, Ni Teko Taki the second, he has a Council of State. A, a state. The Asante Hene, His Royal Majesty Otum Force to two, he has Council of State. Oche Hene has it. The uh, Yana has it. All are major, major kings and chiefs. They have their own councils. And you know why? Their council is usually in place before the chief is installed. So the chief usually, you know, the Council of State is usually, you know, if somebody dies or somebody becomes uh, incapacitated, they are replaced. But the, the chief or, or the king always comes to meet a certain council of state. And it is because they have institutional memory, because they are not afraid of the chief, because they are not already cronies, and they can tell him to the faith, Nana, you are wrong. Ni in In our particular situation, by the creation of this in the 1992 constitution, the president is elected, and then he decides that, oh, um, Peter Duncan, come, come and advise me. Oh, uh, Ima, come and advise me. Oh, Bella, come and advise me. Oh, Helen, come and advise me. Now, if you have a, such a situation, which is not akin to what we already have in a traditional setting where the council is already existent, and then the chief is installed or in skin, and then you have a situation where, where the, the king now or the chief now decides who should come and advise him, do you think that he would get any kind of proper advice? So this morning I say, cancel the council of state. Because really, if aside all the benefits that we're giving Council of State members, they are, they are beneficiaries of Article 71, which means that they get drivers, which means that they get car loans, which means that they get allowances, which means that they get certain privileges that you and I will not get. And their job is to advise the president, but the president is not obliged to take their advice. So you are too nana for banana, they are on J. In a traditional setting, when the council of elders advise the chief, he is obliged to take the advice. In a 1992 constitution, when the council of state advises the president, he is not obliged to take the advice. But then we continue to have a council of state. So this morning, my proposition is that we should cancel the council of state because we are actually spending a lot of money on the council of state. You recently heard Toby Afed. Over 300,000 as ex gracia He said, oh, no, this one. Have you heard the Council of State make a public statement about it? The Council of State. Have you heard them make a public statement about canceling the Council of State and all the conversations about Togbi Affairs? Have you heard them say anything about it? Because they are beneficiaries. Now, again, another point which, which is why we need to cancel the Council of State is that we have a, chief, a former Chief Justice. We have a former CDS. We have a former IGP. We have other persons appointed and those who have been elected. I tell you what, every single government in this country since 1992 has had different set of advices in all spheres of our political life. Take, for instance, this government. There is a senior presidential advisor. Yaosafu Mafu. There's a presidential advisor on everything health. There's a presidential advisor on local governance. There's a presidential advisor on rural rota. There's a presidential advisor on finance. Go to Dr. Baumier's office. We have about six or so people who are advising the, the vice president on things of economy. The president sometimes, I mean, you know that there are ministers who were removed as ministers or, and they were put in the presidency. Some even in the vice president's office. So we have advisors on every single thing in this country. We have a national security advisor. We have a national security coordinator. So what they... Former CDS, former IGP would have advised the president on whoever is there as national security coordinator, who has also said is actually a general or a colonel, can't they give the president? 
So there's a duplicity of road, duplicitous. That is why I'm saying we should cancel the Council of State. The role that the people are supposed to be playing, which, which role and, and the tendency of the president taking the advice of those he himself picked and they are with him every now and then, eh? as opposed to those who meet at least four times a year, paying monthly allowance, people who have retired on their salaries and are giving ex gratia at the end of their four terms. You would, you would agree with the situation that we need to stand, we need to cancel the Council of State because if we had a Council of State, the Felicia Tete matter, and Ken Ophiata was in Parliament two days ago talking about COVID-19 expenses. He didn't talk about Felicia Tete, who is a Northern Regional Executive of the New Patriotic Party, who also was the member of a Parliament PC, parliamentary candidate for the San Arugu constituency. She said she got 50,000 cities as a regional executive and another 50,000 cities of her COVID money just before being a parliamentary candidate. The government has not spoken about it. The Council of State has not spoken about it. But we are being told how much was spent on PPEs and all of that because the monies were shared. She is on tape to have said that she received X amount of money. The whole country is quiet. The presidency is quiet. Damning allegation. People are going around rather campaigning in the interest of trying to grab power rather than pro providing the public good for which they were elected. We are in 2022. 2023, 2024, that's when the elections will be held. We are already scrambling for power and shouting, breaking the A. The Shukura shooting event over a land, a piece of land, not so long ago, that we saw the guys kneeling to aim. Ejura in Kranza South. Where is the Council of State? What have they said about it? The Quabra Tax Force, they beat the mason to pop. Where is the Council of State? The Achimota Forest, land grabbing saga. The land has not been sold. Now we are selling forests, and the forest is in people's will. The land has not been sold. The forest has not been sold. It's been preserved. We are planting trees and selling forests. They're willing it forever. Where is the Council of State? The Sakumono Ramsa site. Where is the Council of State on this? Fuel prices are going up. Speed. And we know that the price buildup is 40% or so of our taxes that we have imposed. There's always the global market prices. That's it. And then there's also... A depreciating CD, a weak CD, which has fallen down flat. Where is the Council of State? Cost of living. You have your Greek minister going around and calling himself a champion and saying people are praising him. Tell me, all the foods and the planting for food and jobs, maize, sorghum, millet, the things that we say we have spent money to plant are the most expensive at the market. Now, the question is, what did we plant? Because by the, before the time, the, before the Greek minister and all the other ministers who are non-performing were given the nod to even be presented to parliament and be announced and be vetted, they went through the Council of State. I'm sure the president would have bounced it of the Council of State. Maybe they did, and the Council of State said, we don't like it, but because the president is not obliged to take the advice, he left it. Now here we are. If we had a Council of State, I'm sure they would have told the president about the ministerial reshuffle. Because the, some ministers need to be sacked. Ministers who have admitted on tape and in camera and on par, in parliament before a bipartisan committee under oath that I shot the sheriff. I took a wrong decision. They have no integrity to say I am resigning. And they are still there. They, they have drawn first ex gratia in 2021. They will draw ex gratia again in 2025. Yet we have a council of state. That is what I'm saying. Cancel the Council of State. Can you imagine how much, how many young people we can employ? The youth unemployment situation, the ballooning youth unemployment situation, and, and the security implications it has for us. We are talking about see something, say something. And we are saying that people who are hungry could become subservient to these enticements by, by terrorists and all of that. There's a scramble for power instead of dealing with the real issues. Young people are walking around hungry, aimless, hopeless. And yet our president is hiring a private luxurious jet and traveling around while his people suffer. And there's a council of state that's supposed to advise say, hey, nanani, oh, yeah, nanani, yeah, Because in our local situation, where the people are hungry and they need a borehole, the chief will not be riding in a palanquin. The council of elders will call him to order and tell him, you need to provide water for your people first of all before you go out in your kente and you regalia and be dancing at the wine, all of that. They, they will tell him. While we are complaining, and telling the president that times are hard and we are being told to tighten our belt, 
The president is traveling around in a hired private luxurious jet. Where is the Council of State? Where is the Council of State when we heard that the airport company actually were told they bought a Christmas tree? We are now learning from the transport ministry that they hired the Christmas tree at that exorbitant rate. And the Council of State is quiet. The National ID card Wahala and the associated threats that are coming. The banks are sending you a message. If you don't register and link it by the 1st of July, you cannot do business with that, which means that you can't assess your own money that you are willingly going to put in a bank. And yet we are being told to go and put our money in the bank so the money can circulate. Is it my fault that I don't have a Ghana card? Where is the Council of State? NAPCO, they have not been paid. NSS, today is the 25th of June. We were told last month that they will be paid by the 15th. Where is the Council of State? Nursing training allowance, teacher training allowance. Where is the Council of State? Unposted teachers and nurses, where is the Council of State? Delay in the payment of salaries of government workers is becoming a norm. We are normalizing it. Where is the Council of State? The threatening debt stock. We have borrowed the rate of inflation. You know what it is. Where is the Council of State? There are no textbooks. More than three years after we changed the curriculum. Where is the Council of State? 97 pesos is what we are giving to our children to feed them in school. They are asking for three cities. And there's, there's one person who has been asked to leave the Accra Metropolitan Assembly because she led the people to demonstrate and demand for monies that they have spent to feed their children and they have not been paid. They are demanding for their due. And the letter comes from the president to say, we have removed you from the AMA. That's the lady's claim. Where is the Council of State? So this morning I'm saying, with all these things and many others that I cannot immediately remember, I can't recollect immediately. I say cancel the Council of State because we are spending money on the Council of State to advise the president. And if they are giving the president advice and all of these things are happening, it means two things. Either the president is not taking the advice or either they are giving the president bad advice. You can't be spending money on bad advice and you can't be spending money on advice that is not being taken because the essence of advice is to change. We are not seeing the change. We voted for change. We are not seeing the change. So... Council, the Council of State. Good morning. Mami Shosi. Ah, fe, fe. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Different era, better result. Time has changed and time has brought Cal Chocolate.